Hello, everybody. Okay, so we're going to review for the Chapter 8 Mid-Chapter Checkpoint. All right, I'm going to start with the vocabulary words. All right, sorry about that. <clears throat> so we're looking at the words multiple, product, and unit fraction. A multiple is a counting number times the number. So a blank of a number is the product of the number and a counting number. Well, that's multiple. A blank always has a numerator of one. Well, a product doesn't have to have a unit, a numerator of one. A multiple doesn't have to have a numerator, a multiple of one. So a unit fraction does have to have a numerator of one. All right, let's the next four multiples of the unit fraction. One times one half is one half. Two times one half is two halves. Three times one half is three halves. Four times one half, four halves. And five times one half is five halves. The next four multiples of one fifth. One times one fifth is one fifth. Two times one fifth, two fifths. Three times one fifth, three fifths. Four times one fifth, four fifths. And five times one fifth, five fifths. Write the fraction as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction. <clears throat> so the unit fraction four tenths is one tenth. How many one-tenths do we have? We have four. So four times one-tenth. What's the unit fraction in eight-twelfths? Yeah, the unit fraction is one-twelfth. How many one-twelfths do we have? We have eight. So eight times one-twelfth. And in three-fourths, the unit fraction is one-fourth. How many one-fourths do we have? Three. List the next four multiples of the fraction. So one times two fifths is two fifths. Two times two fifths is four fifths. Three, let me go ahead and write these out. Two times two fifths is four fifths. Three times two fifths is six fifths. Four times two fifths is eight fifths. And five times two fifths is 10 fifths. <clears throat> so we're skip counting by two fifths. Two fifths, four fifths, six fifths, eight fifths, 10 fifths. Five six, we're gonna skip count by five sixes. Five sixths. So 10 sixths, two times five is 10. Three times five, 15 sixths. Four times five, 20 sixths. And five times five, 25 sixths. Number 10. <clears throat> so we see we have four sets of two sixths, ending at eight sixths. So four sets of two sixths is eight sixths. But it says write the product as a, of a whole number and a unit fraction. So eight sixths is how many? One sixth, eight times one six. Number 11. So we have three sets of three eighths and it ends at nine eighths. So three times three eighths is nine eighths. But what is that as a product of a unit fraction, one eighth, and a whole number. Nine. We have nine eighths. <clears throat> number twelve. Pedro cut a sheet of poster board into ten equal parts. His brother used some of the poster board and now eight tenth is left. Pedro wants to make a sign from each of the remaining part of the poster board. How many signs can he make? 
so one tenth, one tenth. So we have ten pieces in this hole. Two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we have ten tenths. So a board was cut into ten equal parts. His brother used some of the poster board, and now eight tenths is left. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so they that represents the eight tenth that's left. He wants to make a sign from each of the remaining part of the poster board. How many signs can he make? Well, how many one tenths are there? There's eight, right? We have eight sets of one tenths, so he can make eight signs. 13. Ella is making three batches of banana milkshakes. She needs a three fourth gallon of milk for each batch. Her measuring cup holds only one fourth gallon. How many times will she need to fill the measuring cup to make all three batches of milkshakes? All right, so we know she's making three batches of banana milkshakes. She needs three fourths gallon, and her measuring cup is only a fourth gallon. So let's model each of the milkshakes. And so they're going to be broken into fourths, and we have three of them. All right, so she needs one fourth I'm sorry, three fourths to make every banana milkshake. Okay. So how many fourths do I need for the three batches? Well, three fourths, three fourths, three fourths, three six, nine fourths. What is that as a unit fraction? And a, and the product of a unit fraction and a whole number. Well, there are one fourth, and how many one fourths do we have? We have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So she's going to have to fill it up nine times. She'll fill her one fourth gallon cup nine times. 14. Darren cut 11 pie into eight equal slices. His friends ate some of the pie, and now five eighths is left. Darren wants to put each slice of the leftover pie on its own plate. What part of the pie will he put on each plate? Five eighths is left. That's all I really need to know. And he's going to put them all on their own plate. Well, five eighths equals how many one eighths? Five. So we're going to put five plates. Five plates. Each plate has one eighth of the pie. What part of the pie will you put on each plate? One eighth of the pie. And 15. Beth is putting liquid fertilizer on the plants in four flower pots. Her measuring spoon only holds one eighth teaspoon. The directions say to put five eighths teaspoon of fertilizer in each pot. How many times will Beth need to fill the measuring spoon to fertilize the plants in the four pots? Okay, so each, we can represent this with a picture again. <clears throat> so we can break rectangles into eighths, two, four, five, six, seven, eighths. 
and we're going to have four of these. Okay, because it's four flower pots. All right, so the fraction strips represent my four flower pots. She needs to put five eighths, eighths teaspoon of fertilizer in each pot. All right, so we need to shave five parts in every hole. So there's five. Five more. Five more. And five more. So, how many eighths do we have? 5, 10, 15, 20 eighths. Now, she only has one eighth teaspoon to do this. So, what's the unit fraction in 20 eighths? One eighth. How many one eighths do we have? We have 20. So, she's going to need to fill the measuring spoon 20 times. So I am quite confident that you're going to do very well on this little short quiz for Chapter 8. So until our next lesson, where we're going to be multiplying a fraction by a whole number using models, may the numbers always be in your favor.